Alright YouTube, today we're going to do a recoil rope on a uh, Tecumseh Formula 10 horsepower uh, motor that is on a uh, 5250 power back generator. Um, so you can see the whole generator, get an idea what it is. In case you have one of these generators. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these four bolts off. There's two more in the bottom. We'll take those four bolts off and remove the, the recoil. The next thing we're going to do is use a pick or a screwdriver and try to get out any uh, of the remaining recoil rope. This requires a couple of hands, but you may have to go in here and pick at it this way and then catch it this way and pull it up. Then with the new rope, you're going to light the end of it so that it is uh, more pointy and you're going to have to feed it in through this space here. Now that's again another two hand job apparently. And you're going to feed it in that space there. You're going to line up this hole with that space and try to feed it through this hole hole. Once you've gotten it fed through the hole, you're going to tie this spot right here into a knot. Just a regular square knot. Then you pull it tight so that the knot falls back into place and you can let it go for the slack. Now we're going to take and pick this rope up through so we can get a loop on it. that and we're going to wrap this counterclockwise okay so we're going to pull this loop up and we're going to go in a counterclockwise roll um, usually there's a slot on most recoils this one just doesn't have it so we're going to pull it right to the end and we're going to go three times one two three times we're going to pull the rope out let it in and then we're going to pick it out again Two more times. Oh, come on. One, two more times. Five times total. Don't try to do all five at once because it binds up and rope curls up on you. It's just, that should be plenty enough. Alright, next thing we're going to do is cut the rope. Heat up the end again so that it's pointing. Um, shoot, I forgot to get the other rope. If you get to do the other side of it, just tie a knot in it so it can't get through. It's usually best to have the handle prepped before you uh, get to that point. Uh, demonstrating how, how, how not to do it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Alright, so then... Don't lose this or you're going to be rewrapping. Stick this through the handle. through this and then I do kind of like a double knot you do uh, one two twists through this side it's not really a double knot but this gives it a little bit larger mass so it doesn't pull out of the handle easy And then we're going to put it back on these bolts. Pause. 
and tighten all the nuts down. Now I used a three and a half millimeter rope. Um, at most I would go would be a, a four millimeter. Um, anything bigger than that, just you won't get enough pull on it. You know, it won't be long enough. Um, anything that I used in the video will be on the uh, uh, in the description. I'll even put the new recoil. Um, as always, guys, anything that freaking uh, I use, I'll put in the description so that you can easily uh, um, you know buy it from Amazon or whatever. Uh, if it helped you in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, like it, um, share it with friends that need the help too. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but today's t-shirt. Alright, peace.